Hi guys and welcome to another PHP tutorial. This tutorial will be a continuation of the previous password hashing tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to do a password rehashing in PHP in case you need it. Now why would you need a password rehashing? Well in case you think that your previous password hashing is not enough secure or you want to change the password algorithm, you want to change the difficulty of your password hashing to make them more secure, then that is the case where you would do password rehashing in PHP. Now, as you can see, I'm in the same file as the previous tutorial. I'm in the password hash folder in the index.php. By the way, if you want to watch the previous video, click on the card above. So in the previous tutorial, we hash the password using the password default constant, which is the same as password bcrypt algorithm. And then we, I showed you how to verify if the, if the password input from the user is correct, comparing the input with the hashed value. Now I will show you how to do the rehashing in the real world example you will take the password from the database. So the workflow would be the user would insert the password, then you would check, compare it to the database if the password is correct, take the hash from the database, and then before logging in the user, you would check if the password needs rehash. So to do that, we will use the, the password needs rehash function. So let me type that in an if statement now as the first parameter we need to input the hashed value and then we will put the algorithm we will use the same password default here and as the third parameter i will send the, the new cost with which we want to hash the password it needs to be an array so we open and close the square brackets in single quotes we type cost and arrow sign and I will put 12. And inside the if statement if the, if the password needs to be rehashed with a cost of 12 then we will put it in the variable called rehash and we will also use again the password hash function. Now as a per first parameter we will put the password input from the user again. In real example it would be something else but here I will just use the test123 value again. The value here. So let's copy this. We will use again password default. But this time we want the password to be hashed using a cost of 12. So again, open the square brackets, cost in single quotes, and put 12. And then if we had a database, we would update the database. So I will just comment it and type update database with a new rehashed password. And let's echo the rehashed value in case the password was rehashed. Okay, let's see this in the browser. Save the file, Control S. Now, here's the previous hash value, hashed with a cost of 10. If you notice the first four characters of the hash value, you will see a number of 10, which means that this password was hashed with a cost of 10. Here are the verify values, and now the rehash value is this one. As you can notice here, we have a number 12, which shows us that the password was rehashed with a cost of 12, and now the password is more secure. It, it again uses the password default or the password bcrypt algorithm, but the cost is bigger, which means that it will take more time to generate it, but it, as a result it gives a more secure password. Also, in, in this algorithm, the other 20 characters or so show the salt value used by the algorithm, and then the last part is the actual encrypted or hashed password. Now let me show you if we 
the case when the password doesn't need to be rehashed and you will see that this line will not be executed at all. So if I go back and I type 10 here, which will be the same cost as used here by default, then you will see that this line will not be executed at all. So you just need to change the password needs rehash line in the if statement. Now if I save this file, go again to the browser and refresh it. As you can see the line was not executed which means that the password doesn't need to be rehashed because we are already hashing it using the same difficulty, the same cost as before. So again you would use the password rehashing if you want to change the difficulty or the cost of the password hashing values to make them more secure. It will take more time to generate it but as a result it gives a more secure password and the password needs rehash value will only rehash those passwords that need to be rehashed. If the password was previously rehashed the password needs rehash will not execute but it will continue as it should in a real example it would for example log in the user to the website if you want to learn more php tutorials check the card above don't forget to subscribe follow us on instagram facebook and twitter if you have any questions just leave them in the questions section below and with you guys see you in the next video thank you for watching this video and bye